Good morning. From just outside the chapel at Bonveau, after our first meditation, I'd like to introduce you to my shadow, which you can see behind me. More interesting than that is this extremely fine piece of gossamer thread, or spider web, I suppose, if you can see it <clears throat> in front of the water linking these two plants, extremely fine, extremely fragile. When we meditate, we are doing something so absolutely simple that it defies expression. We cannot really describe it. If we describe it, we are not doing it. It can take people years before they realize, for example, that we don't have to think about the meaning of the word, the mantra, as we say it. We can say that many times, but for some people it just doesn't sink through until one day, maybe years later, it suddenly dawns on them that that is not the purpose of the mantra to think about its meaning. Or in the early stages, perhaps, when you start to meditate, people think, if I was to say another mantra, this would work better. What's the best mantra for me? And so on. But there's a more subtle level of simplicity as well. In fact, it's an endless discovery of the meaning of simplicity. And the other one is, of course, that saying the mantra is what we have to do during the meditation. But thinking about saying the mantra, thinking that this is what we have to do, is not fully yet saying the mantra. We're only halfway there. So we can be saying the mantra with a certain degree of intensity, a certain degree of integrity, and a certain degree of simplicity. But at the same time, as we're saying it, we're planning something else, we're dealing with the problems of life, solving our problems, and at the same time, thinking of saying the mantra. And there's no way through that complexity except to go through it, to faithfully, humbly, and more and more gently and simply return to the mantra. And beyond that, it's very difficult to describe what is happening, of course. But the beauty of meditation and why it is so transformative is that it is essentially and eternally simple. To say the mantra with one's whole being, to love the Lord your God with your whole mind, your whole strength, your whole being, saying the mantra with complete attention. There's nothing more wonderful than beginning the day and ending the day and going through the day with that realization that we have a way, a way of such grace and such patience that however many times we don't get it, however many times we complicate it, it doesn't matter because we are on the way.